All right, what's going on, guys? I just want to do a, a quick little mini update for you on the computer. Um, just as a, a quick run through, just of everything that I've been doing to the computer. Um, the ASUS, this is the ASUS uh, Essentio MB11 B06. Uh, it's the US version. Um, so if you guys have the UK version, it may be a little different uh, configuration than mine. Um, but anyway, to get into it. The uh, only thing I really haven't changed out very much, or the only thing I haven't changed out, basically, is the motherboard and the CPU. Um, the graphics card was upgraded, the RAM cards were upgraded, I also installed three new fans, um, and as you can see, I made a modification to the case. Um, now, a couple of things I'm going to run you through on the computer, just because I've encountered a couple of issues. Um, first off, I installed Corsair 1600 MHz 8GB RAM cards. They're the uh, Vengeance Pro series. Um, they're typically meant for uh, Intel computers, um, like for instance, like the in Intel Core i7s and the Core, basically any of the Intel cores, um, GPU or CPUs rather. Uh, so basically, that that RAM has been working pretty well with my AMD computer. Um, and yes, it's an AMD CPU. It's actually a quad core. Uh, I believe it does 3.7 gigahertz. Um, but anyway, the um, main issue that I ran into is that the Corsair uh, RAM cards, they actually get hotter than your typical RAM card would. So they ran a little bit hot. And what happened was is the uh, first night I had them, it overheated my computer, I actually deleted part of Windows, and I had to recover the computer. Uh, which, if you guys want a video of how to recover your computer in Windows 8, if you didn't download the USB thing, um, I'll make an update video for you on that, just because it, it was a pain in the butt. It took me almost five hours to figure out, and finally figured it out after watching a bunch of, uh, you know, like, or after reading a bunch of things and talking to some tech that was basically useless from Asus. Um, so, anyway. I uh, figured it all out and I will make a video if you guys really want that, so let me know. Um, anyway, getting into the computer, um, it's been running the power target at 100, 110%, which is my setting. Uh, Celsius temperature of the GPU is 34%, or 34 degrees Celsius. The fan speed is usually around 42 to 44. Highest it ever gets now is like 56. Um, the GPU clock offset is plus 78 megahertz. The memory clock offset is 180 megahertz. Um, I could pump it up a bit more. Uh, it's just I don't want to overheat the computer again. But again, probably won't happen just because of the uh, fans I installed. <clears throat> anyway, in the last video you saw, I did a modification. I cut, and I, I can't even call it a modification. I, I actually literally took a 1950s Swiss Army knife and stabbed the shit out of the front of it. Cut it uh, with a little saw mechanism on the Swiss Army knife and cut a small hole. It was actually probably just about the same size as the fan uh, over there, and it was really like barbaric looking, really ugly looking. So um, anyway, I made a uh, bigger cut with a Dremel tool this time, made it a little bit more even still a little bit tilted but um you know I did what I could with the Dremel tool uh, also when I bought a piece of Flexan uh, it's basically plexiglass quarter inch thick and uh, drilled some holes in it scratched up the back of it made it look kinda decent and that's the product of what I did um, so getting into the fans um, like I said, the computer overheated after I installed the Corsair RAMs, uh, RAM cards just because of the temperature of the computer went up a lot uh, due to the fact that those RAM cards are gaming RAM and it does produce a good amount of heat even though they do have built-in heat sinks. Uh, it does produce a good amount of heat. So what I installed is I installed two 80mm fans, one in the front, one in the back. The front one actually faces into the computer. Uh, the back one actually faces out. Um, and as you can see, there's also a third fan right here on the side of the computer. Uh, there's the, I guess it's like the air ventilation for the CPU there. Um, I installed a 120 millimeter fan right over the top there, um, just so that I get that extra pull of uh, air out, out of the computer. So, 
talking about the computer now, this this fan is actually blowing it right over the top of the GPU. It's also actually probably pulling air down through the computer uh, off the CP, off the uh, RAM cards and pulling it down and across the G GPU. Um, the 120 millimeter fan is right over the top of the CPU and right where the CPU fan is. So it's sucking all that air out. And then on top of that, I have that 80 millimeter fan that's again right over the top of the GPU. And I'll show you where it is in a second, but um, that's sucking air out, and it's sucking all the hot air out. This computer's been running really, really cool, really, really nice recently. Um, I haven't had any type of issues with the gaming or anything like that. Um, I can play Arma 2, you know, no problem whatsoever, ultra settings, everything. Uh, Battlefield 4, I've actually tried for a little bit uh, on ultra settings, and it worked perfectly fine. Um... Now getting into the keyboard and stuff like that, I do have a Razer keyboard and I also have a Razer mouse. As you guys can tell, I obviously like blue LED. Um, and when this gets obnoxious, I can actually turn off the LEDs on the uh, keyboard here. But usually keep it on just because I usually play with the lights off. Um, let's see, what else? I'll show you the location of the fans a little bit better. Uh, it's just a close up of the light sand. Like I said, I just took a piece of, uh, or I took the sanding portion of the Dremel tool and sanded up the back of the, the lac sand, scratched it up really good, and then just took a drill mechanism and drilled a bunch of holes in the front of it. And if you actually take your hand and stick it right here, you can actually feel the fan sucking air in. So it's definitely working pretty well. Um, going over to the side of the computer this is sort of like I said this is the the normal side port to the computer where the CPU fan would typically just be blowing air out um, unfortunately it doesn't really the fan that comes with the computer doesn't really blow too much air out of the computer so I installed the 120 millimeter fan here um, and if you hold your hand over this I mean I can feel it all the way back here and it's about 12 inches away from the computer now um, and then in the back, back here, I also installed another 80 millimeter fan. It's the third one. And again, this one's aiming out, blowing air out of the computer and sucking it right out the back. Um, like I said, all in all, the computer's been running very, very cool. I think it looks nice. Um, it's a great computer, great start startup build to a computer. Um, as I just knocked over a monster camera, it was on my desk here. <laughs> but uh, you know it's a great startup computer and there's a lot that you can build onto it so I'm just gonna leave you guys with that I hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I'm gonna make a snake video for you guys tomorrow and I hope you guys enjoy it have a good night guys